Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. We are learning about the angular animations. So we have successfully completed the basic thing project and we need to do the animations. If you see our project here, not the project, so it's simple project if you try to see. So this is our courses thing. We have added these courses and everything we have. We are able to display the courses, update the courses, delete the courses. These all the things are completed. Now it's time for us to do some basic design so that after the design, we will implement the animations thing. So if you try to see here, this is a plain thing without any CSS, basic CSS styles has been applied. So let's try to change this design of this one. The first one, if you try to see here, the top is the navigation. If you see here at the top navigation, navigation is attached to the browser address bar. It's, it is better if you move a little bit bottom, it will a little bit down if you move by applying a margin top or something like that. So how we can apply a margin top for this one? So the, let's go to the app component.html. If you go to the app.component.html file, so this is our container. So if you apply a CSS for this container, automatically all the elements or all the content whichever is there, it is present inside the container, it will move to our bottom. So let's go to the app code component.css and I will take the container and this CSS will be applied only to the container which is present in the app component only. It will not affect to the container, it is present in the another component. So this is will be better, right? So why? Because we have learned about the component scope styles. So here I will apply a margin, margin top of, I will apply 30 pixel. Okay. Now if you try to see the output for this one, so it has moved little bit bottom. So it's looking well and fine. Now fine. Now let's go to the courses. So if you try to see the courses after the navigation, immediately the courses are starting. So it is better if you add a heading to this one. Let's go to the courses.component.html. So all the courses will be displayed there, right? So courses.component.html. Here we are looping over the each course and displaying it. So let's go at the top dot row dot row column dot call hyphen access hyphen 12. Like this, I will use it. Why it is not coming? Not this one. Sorry. So dot row. All hyphen XS hyphen 12. Okay, why is this one is all coming? So, okay, mm, this GitHub pilot is uh, hey, we have removed everything or what? Yeah, I want to remove only this one. Yeah, div class is equal to row and I will write dot call hyphen XS hyphen 12. Okay, so here I want to create an H3 and my courses. I will write a heading my courses. That's it. Now, if you try to see the output. For this one, yeah, we are able to see the heading and now we are having each and every course. We need to format this each and every course. How you will format this? Not format. We need to design this each and every course. So let's try to have a differentiation for, for each and every course. For this one, what we need to do? We need to go to the course.component.html. Course.component.html. So this is our course.component.html and for this one, we need to write the CSS. So let's go to the CSS part. Okay, we know that we have a component, right? Host component. So for the host, we'll write it. First, for writing the host, we need to write a display block. That's a common thing. And we need to apply a margin of 20 pixel. And I don't want to apply left and right, 20 pixel, comma zero. And I will apply on either sides 20 pixel. Okay, more padding also I'll apply. And I will apply border also, but it should be a black. Okay, it should not be a any color black. And I will apply a background color, not a enough. So back box shadow, I will apply a box shadow, 3 pixel, 3 pixel and another one is a 2 pixel and I will add something like hash ccc, ccc, or ccc, yeah. Now let's see the output, how it will look like. If you try to see the output, now let's see, yeah, so this one is looking somewhat better. Now what I want to do is, so this form control and this update status, delete status is there, right? I don't want to show it in a two two lines. I want to show it in a one line. So for this one, what we need to do is let's go to the course.component.html. Here, this is the text box, not the text box, sorry, select box, the drop down. So we have a class form control. So if you write it here in the CSS, it will apply only to this one form control. And here I will make it as a width 50%. Let's see what it will happen. If I try to apply this one here. So I need to move this button stop, right? So what I can do by default form control will be display block. I can apply display of inline block. That's it. Now, if you see the output for this one, 
we will be able to see display inline block like this. Now if you want to add a space for this one also, let's add a space for this one. Let's go to course.component.html. In this one, I will apply something like mx-1, mx-1, and here also I'll apply mx-1. Fine, this could be somewhat better. You will get, you will have a little bit of spaces. Yeah. Now, yeah, fine. When I uh, fine when I select any course, the border color of this one should change. So for this one, what we need to do is so here. In the courses that component HTML here when we select select means when we click on this one on course sorry on course selected so I need to pass the index for this one and let's go to the courses dot component dot ts file so here this is our ts file and here I will create a file uh, sorry variable selected course index I will take the index which is of type number and here you will be having exclamatory okay and here i will write on course course selected okay selected so here you will be having the index which is of type number here i will write selected course index is equal to index that's it so we have used this one by using this one what i need to do is so here I will apply ng class okay ng class ng class is equal to I will apply a selected so selected is equal to selected course index selected sorry selected course index so here is equal to is equal to I that's it so ng class I am applying so that means whenever I click on a particular course the class will be applied to this one so if you try to see the inspect element if I do the inspect element for this one I will show you the output for this one now here this is our app course right so in this app course so if I select this one so here if I select click on this one automatically what will happen is so why, why it is not reflecting so we are not getting anything or what we are, are we getting any error no we are not getting any error so for this which one we have written for this one app course only right selected course index is equal to is equal to i yeah selected course index uh, now we need to we, we should be able to see the app course for this app course if i select this one so we are not getting any classes what could be the reason so let's try to write the css for this one if it doesn't get anything then we will do it so ng class is equal selected right so for this selected oh we haven't saved this one i think yeah now we have saved it hopefully now we are able to get it now if i try to click on this one so we will get the courses and let's try to inspect the element and here in this courses if i click on this one see we got the classes selected now if i try to apply this selected one app dot component not not app dot courses dot component dot css yeah where is this courses dot component dot css mm, yeah here so if you haven't written anything here I will write dot selected. So for this one, what I want to do border one pixel solid blue. Okay, so I have written it this one. Now if you try to see the output, let's remove this one. All. I try to show you the thing. So if I click on this one, see we are able to see the border for this one. And if I try to apply two pixel for this, so it should be somewhat little bit thicker, right? when compared to others now if you see the output for this one now if i click here see we are able to see that it has been selected but if you try to see there is a jumping effect it is coming if i click here the courses are jumping each course so let's try to fix it in the next video so this is this is how we will be making the design thing in the next video we will try to do the final tweaks and we will complete this one and we'll move on to the navigation thing what i will try to do is i will commit this all the code in a new branch video hyphen 18 video hyphen 18 and this one is course design tweaks like this you can take it and i will commit this entire course and publish this branch so whoever may be having a doubts and all those things as usual so they can go to this github repository url so the github repository url will provide it in the description below so that you can uh, understand so what are the code i have written if you want to have a reference means you can go to that particular branch of that video 
and you can check the code so this is guys about this uh, design thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you